What the hell is Gus doing, bruh? What is he doing? Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back as we continue on with Breaking Bad. Came fresh off of episode eight, season four, and now we're jumping into episode nine, season four, titled Bug. Um, I, if you guys are wondering why the last outro was a little bit shorter, it's because I kind of wanted to continue the motion of how it was feeling after that crazy um, backstory we got of Gus, even though it was like, what, like maybe 10 minutes? It was so incredible for what it was able to do with what it was with, with what it had. And that was to showcase a little bit of why he has animosity towards Hector, um, as well as showing us a little bit, just a glimpse of a genuine emotional rage that uh, Gus feels. I feel like the last time we felt that was when he used the box cutter. But even then, he was deadpan. Even then, he was still hiding his emotions. But that was like the first time, I believe, where I, I felt for Gus instead of trying to guess whether or not uh, how he's feeling. So that was really interesting. But it was also really cool seeing all the you know the major players at that table seeing how that was really well edited the two just building that momentum knowing that something just deadly is waiting on the table you just weren't sure what it could possibly be but again was such a great 10 minute backstory that was so good i feel like i'm completely satisfied i don't need to know too much more about gus and his backstory if they give it to us and that's great but i felt like that did exactly what it did um to satisfy uh, just me and my fascination towards Gus because he's such an interesting character. But again, things are heating up. Uh, Hank is getting a little bit, you know, he's tapping into his, his intuition. And even though he's right, at what cost is that going to put him? Because he was right before and he ended up nearly dying. And now he's like genuinely crippled. So I'm, I'm worried that he won't be able to have that that second chance <laughs> and i love hank it's like no dude like don't be good at your job <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be interesting seeing how this builds up i'm really excited to see how this uh how is this come into play i wonder if the title bug has anything to do with the episode title fly from season three we're gonna find out but you know this is the beautiful thing about being able to watch this alongside with you guys um and being able to learn a little bit more about certain things in the comment section as well so guys i appreciate y'all if you want to be able to support this channel again the best way to do it is through patreon we get early access there's movie polls we're gonna have other things coming along on the patreon as well as just the community being super dope so if you want to get involved in all of that definitely check out the patreon but you don't have to do any of that you can also support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe and at the end of the day you can just sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into episode 9 season 4 of breaking bad glasses all right what is this intro going to show us here we got broken glasses on the floor we got blood dripping on the on the wood what's going on here Is this Walt? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right. More mystery. Love it. Love it. Relax, buddy. This ain't no spy movie. <laughs> It's more like Rocky, you know? It is nice to see Hank getting all giddy and whatnot, but... Bum, bum, bum. I don't know. I think I'd rather see him miserable than dead. Nice. Nice, man. Yep, I was wondering. I was like, let me see those shoes. Those are Walter's shoes. That's crazy. That's wild. I didn't know a tracker would work like that. Oh, God, this clean's got to be dirty. What's the play here, buddy? How do I get this guy? 
Yeah. I'm interested in, and in, I'm wondering if Walter, now knowing that Jesse can't be trusted, is going to take this as initiative to kind of like get one over Gus. I don't know how. Also, that is hella dangerous, but that is a state of mind. just gets a gun <laughs> that would be insane he's been staring at a particular house for a very long time thank you thank you so much if you would i i would appreciate it <laughs> that's one hell of a mean mug <laughs> that's funny so what have you been up to <laughs> This dude, Walt, man. <laughs> what the? F this dude is hilarious, man. He just flips on and off. You don't like. He's ah, it's good. What do you watch? I don't know stuff. I don't like my. It's interesting that he's relating or giving time to Jesse right now. I wonder if that's just a manipulative tactic he's implying. Oh man, don't you have enough cancer already? Look, I said I'd do it. Damn, this is a really good shot. I'm loving how this is framed. This medium format right here. The clouds in the background. Low-key family dinner, no official party, and we bite the bullet and buy him a car. Uh, used. It's such a shame because she's in such a really good position right now. She's pretty satisfied um, being in this position, you know? So I'm sure she probably really loved doing this, but it's all under drug money. You don't need to even work. <laughs> we'll be there. All of this to say, maybe you could start thinking about an exit strategy. Oh, Skylar, you're so nice, but I definitely don't think this level of crime has an exit strategy so i started thinking about this the, the little empire of his right 14 restaurants who supplies them what's the what's the base of operations huh so i do a little digging and bingo damn yo hank is ah hank is getting closer and closer man like it's scary because it's going to get to a point to where a decision is going to have to be made you know it's just <sighs> Upset stomach and you know everything. Yeah, it's it's, it's out of control. It, it, really explosive. <laughs> I said really explosive. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I I get it. You don't have to paint me a picture. <laughs> Damn man, <laughs> these two are ridiculous. Soon he will probably, in the near future, take a ride out to a certain distribution center to look around for things. But thankfully, they're hidden it, you know? I don't think, even if he looked around, they wouldn't be able to find anything worth noting. Because it's, like, underneath, like, a whole, like, like piece of equipment. Like, you have to push, like, a certain button to open it up. Where's this all going? Elsewhere. Oh, <laughs> Wow. What an intimidating shot that is. Oh, man. Thank you. Please this dude's just looming in the doorway, looking like the devil. Like, what? Yo! It's Ted! Holy crap! Yo, I haven't seen Ted in a minute. Hi there. Um, I think it's Skylar. Um, I'm gonna need to talk to you. Oh, is it about the books? Is it a books? Is there something wrong with the books? You're facing a felony charge here. A mm. hundred thousand dollar fine on top of the taxes you already owe, plus five years in prison. Yeah. Oh man, that's terrible. Damn. It doesn't work like that. The damage is already. My name. 
Ah, oh, damn. My signatures. Wow. Are all over the. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, yup. She was signing off on those things. Explain what's gonna happen here, okay? Ah, that sucks. I cannot be audited. It's kind of you. you... You're gonna be fine, okay? They're, they're after me. It's the the captain they want, not some cashier at a car wash. Ah, uh, yeah. If only it was that simple. Even though, even then, it's not simple. If something were to happen to the man, would you have a problem with that? Who really cares what I think? Damn. Damn. Yeah, Jesse's evolution to the point to where he's gotten here is ah uh, it's just so sad man yo what the heck yo what the heck oh bruh you better start dipping bruh get inside Dude, shout out to Mike, man. This dude is like, this dude's like 90 years old, moving like an athlete. <laughs> probably, probably was a double, <laughs> but still awesome. What the hell is Gus doing, bruh? What is he doing? This dude. No way! <laughs> Dude, that was top 10, top 5 badass moments. I, that was insane. This dude was like... <laughs> Boils have monos, man. What the f... I even ask? I wouldn't. <laughs> My man limping after that, after that, that sprint he did to save Jesse. So what? Is this going to be a regular? Th also, he saved Jesse, by the way. It's interesting. What did this poor bastard do to piss off Gus? Or did Gus just need to send another message? Shut your mouth. You shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. Mm. <laughs> so if you ever plan on calling the cops on one of my guys again, you go ahead and get two barrels. Oh my god, dude. There is a lot of savagery happening in these episodes. What is going on? Damn. Mike looks like he's worked at UPS for like 25 years. And he started... That 25 years when he was like 70. <laughs> the outfit and everything. Is he doing anything about that? Or do we just keep hanging out for target practice while Kid. he's... Enough. You got questions. Ask him yourself. Mm. That's really cool because he basically is saying, no, you do have... A, like, people do care what you say. That's that's that was good. At least that's how I picked it up. I feel like that's Mike being almost sort of like a I don't want to say a father figure for him, but some type of figure. Take all the time you need, Mr. Benicky. That's why we're here. Oh, I am so Skyler. Oh my God, Skyler. Sky. Oh. Whew, She's like, let me. So confusing. Put on this genjutsu. Mm, let's take a look. Mm. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't had any training per se. I've always been naturally good with numbers. I've got a good instinct for them. Right, Teddy? <sighs> Yo. <laughs> Skylar is engaging in some GTA 5 activity. It's actually kind of fun to see. <laughs> it's, 
it's kind of fun to see. Put it behind you. <laughs> hey, with what? I owe them six hundred and seventeen thousand dollars. What am I? Look, just figure I... it out. All right? And you just dodge prison. Yeah, for real. Pay that. Pay that. Just pay it, man. If you don't pay them, they will reopen the investigation, and that little fiction I just spun up there is going to completely unravel. You have to settle. I love that this shot is inside the car too, by the way. Breaking Bad is so good at the subtle cinematography. Like that combination of documentary with just like, you know, following a cinematic experience is so good. It's so well done because this is a very human experience, despite it being absolutely insane and in a lot of its story aspects. You know, a lot of the things that these characters are going through, despite it being exaggerated, are things that we as humans, <laughs> normal humans, can relate to. Just being in society. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very good balance that they have. We'll eat first. And then we'll talk. I mean, I wouldn't put that in there because you're going to eat it too. You know what I'm saying? That is not the... Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> what am I doing here? This is a very similar shot to when Walter was in that same seat as Jesse. I need you to answer one question for me. Can you cook Walter's formula? Oh, <laughs> that is a big question. Me? The junkie loser you were about to waste and dump in the desert a month ago? Mm. Is your plan? Huh? Jesse brings such a, a chaotic energy that I love that Gus is interacting with. He may seem that he can tame him, but I don't know. Jesse has grown. Like, he's experienced. I need you to help prevent an all-out war. Now, if you would, answer the question. Woo! Damn. <laughs> oh, man, I wish I could have hung on to that scene just a little bit longer. I think I really love Jesse's experience when he's interacting with people like Mike, with Saul, with... Um, even Walter and Gus, like, because he's just, he, <laughs> like, I feel like you can understand the patterns of everybody else, and they're also just older, whereas I feel like Jesse's just a lot more relatable in his emotions. Like, he doesn't try to hide them. Oh, what if that scene? Ah, then he bugged him. But what if that scene at the beginning... With the blood and, you know, what appears to be Walter is maybe instead of something bad happening, you know, like like a physical uh, event, what if his cancer came back? Because that was a topic from earlier. I really got to talk to you. I, I, I don't know if you're with your family or whatever, but this is uh, important. So um, I'm hoping you could come over. Mm, he knows that he went to his house. Damn. Hey, dude. We brought it to the lab. I mean, they, they, they shot him right in front of me. I mean, just blew his head open. I mean, some sniper nailed him from like a mile away. Yeah, that was a really damn good shot. That was crazy. That was really insane. I forgot to say that. You haven't been with Gus. You haven't seen Gus. You haven't spoken to Gus. Why are you... You weren't at Gus's house last night. Ah, oh, sh... Ah, oh, man, this is gonna get bad. You had one thing to do. One thing. That is the only thing I might add that would save our lives. And you were right there. You were in his house. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's putting it together. Man, these two always get into the conflicts. How did you know I was at his house last night? Were you following me? This. Bug. This. Yep. That's how I knew. Title of the episode, y'all. Damn. You've signed my death warrant! And now you want advice? All right, I'll give you advice. Go to Mexico and screw up like I know you will. And wind up in a barrel somewhere! Damn. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't... I guess it wasn't the cancer coming back. 
is these guys getting into a physical fight. Damn! Yo, Walter, what the heck? Yo! Yo, this is the first time these two have actually gotten to a... Well, no, it's the second time. Way back when they were in that RV, they got into a fight. They get the fuck out of here and never come back. Damn. Man, I hated to see them fight. That body slam that Walt did on Jesse was absolutely insane. That was like, I, <laughs> I was not ready for that. Damn. Well, all right, that's the end of that episode. <laughs> Dear God. All right, everybody, we just got done episode nine, season four, titled Bug. Dude. <laughs> Yo, it's... <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> I love this show because there are so many routes that they could have they could have easily went down. You know, they could have really made Walter this invincible, unstoppable beast that's you know, similar to Gus. You know, they could have really made him out to be this way because of just how he started off and the knowledge that he has. But I love that he is so handicapped by his pride and by all the other things that, you know, are human traits. Um, and that were prevalent even all the way back to the pilot of the episode. I love that that is still the weight that anchors him uh, when it comes to just, you know, being able to just dominate. And I love that they haven't, they didn't take that approach because not only would it have been, uh, I guess it, it just would have been cliche. Um, it still would have been very much enjoyable, I feel like, but I love that this series has taken such an intriguing turn, a multifaceted turn, uh, in terms of, in terms of its story. And it really challenges a lot of things and gives a lot of unexpected, you know, uh, events that just happen that are just outside of kind of like my realm of understanding story and structure and uh, themes etc and that's rare and that's really really cool that that's such a really awesome experience for me and just watching things unfold where I kind of have an understanding on a, on, on a, on a greater sense of thing on a greater sense of things but the middle school things still have me just like completely out of whack it's completely just like unpredictable and i love that it's so cool and i feel like it's such a rarity to have that in a television show i'm just gassing up this show basically but man things are getting crazy i have no idea where the next episode is going to lead to because walter entire entire process from season four or the beginning of season four was to kill gus and now that that trust is broken completely with him and jesse I'm not sure what he's going to do. I have no idea what's going to happen. So I love being in that position. Uh, and I'm excited to see what the other episodes have for us. But guys, I'm going to see you all next week. This is insane. <laughs> stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Pull back in the backseat